Is it any good? Well... DJI and Lumix have teamed up to bring us two new things. LiDAR focusing now works with some of the Lumix cameras and the autofocus lenses without having to attach the follow focus motor, and active track without the need for the Raven Eye module. Now if you don't know what LiDAR is, I've got a full video about it here where you can see it in action. But let me give you a quick 10 second rundown. <laughs> Attaching a LiDAR rangefinder to your camera turns your favourite manual focus cinema lenses into autofocus lenses. It uses beams of light to measure the distance of your subject and interacts with the focus motor attached to that lens and pulls focus for you. This is perfect for one person crews who don't want to think about manual focusing when using a cinema lens. Another benefit is that you don't need to be in a well lit environment for it to work so you can get even better autofocus performance in dark situations. <laughs> Now with the added updates, you're probably thinking the same thing as I thought to begin with. What's the point in using LiDAR with autofocus lenses, especially with how good the new autofocus system is in the S5 Mark II? Well, there are a few benefits to this update and it could benefit some Lumix users more than others. And that's exactly what we're gonna look at in today's video. I'm gonna test it on the S5 Mark II and the S1H to see who it's for. Is it good enough? And potentially what we could see in the future. So first, we're gonna look at how good the autofocus system is on the S5 Mark II and then compare it to the LiDAR. So I'm currently using the S5 Mark II and the autofocus built into that camera and the lens. As you can see on the Ninja 5, it's doing a great job of tracking me, but how well does it focus? Is it nice and smooth? And then I'm just gonna do a little, little bit slower, a little bit smoother to see how smooth it is. Watch that LED and then watch my face to see how well it keeps focus. Is it nice and natural or is it is it like quick and pulsating because we don't want that we want it nice and smooth i'll turn around and it should keep tracking me and as well i've got it on full area human detection mode so wherever i am in the frame it's going to keep my face in focus if i spin around it should keep me in focus it's still tracking me so this is what it's like in the dark is it as quick to auto focus is it as good I'm over here because it's dark over here what's it like seems to be doing a good job I can see it's tracking me well but is it focusing well? So the autofocus in the S5 Mark II is awesome, even in low light, but could it be improved with LiDAR? Not really, because it's great as it is. But one benefit that you do get with this camera is the use of active track. If I just want to have a little bit more of an engaging video and I don't have someone to film me, I can actually put it in active track mode and the LiDAR is gonna take over from the autofocus, keep me in focus, but not only that, track me. So wherever I move, if I go over here, it's gonna keep me in focus and move to where I am and keep me in frame. So I like that, it works really well. Now you can't do that with any other thing. Sony have a something called reframe, or something like that, but it crops into the image, so you're losing resolution. Also, it doesn't look very natural, whereas this looks like someone's actually following the, your movements. So if you use that a lot, you no longer have to connect the Raven Eye, which means that your setup's gonna be lighter. It's one less thing to hook up and plug in and balance. Plus, you don't need a phone to monitor it anymore because it's all done on the touchscreen on the back of the DJI RS3 Pro gimbal. Now, I'm gonna come back and talk a little bit about the active track later on and what's not so good about it. So so if you're using an older Lumix camera that doesn't have the upgraded autofocus system, such as the S1H, and you don't want to get rid of that camera or upgrade it, could LiDAR be the way forward? So now I'm recording on the Lumix S1H. I'm using autofocus within the camera and the lens. So we're going to check the smoothness. All right, so as you can see, it's still tracking me really well, but it's a lot slower than the S5 Mark II. And this is where the LiDAR would come in handy. Because if you love using the Lumix S1H camera, then just adding the LiDAR rangefinder is gonna solve the problem for you, or so we hope. So it's nice and smooth, nice and natural looking, it's just not quick enough. Now, is this better in low light? Mm. It's struggling in low light, look, to focus. All right, it's got me. Let's move now. Spin round. Come on. There we go. Switch over to the LiDAR now. I'm now using the Lumix S1H and I've got much better autofocus. See that? So I can still use my camera. If I spin round, does it keep me? Yes, it does. 
Look at that. What about low light? Look at that. It's really good. Over here. So the autofocus in the S1H isn't great compared to today's standards. 50mm autofocus takes a long time. Look at that. Yeah. It's not gonna that doesn't work. Whereas the LiDAR loads better. Look at that. Boom. It's smooth and it tracks you really well, but it just doesn't pull focus quickly enough. And in the dark, it's no better. But when you pair it with the LiDAR rangefinder, it becomes an absolute beast. And in low light, it performs just as well as the Lumix S5 Mark II. And I think people with S1Hs are gonna absolutely love this because it means they can hang on to their cameras for even longer now. There's no need to attach a focus motor, obviously, because we're using the autofocus lenses, but you also don't need to calibrate them like you would with your cinema lenses because DJI communicates with the camera and it knows what lenses are plugged into it. So that saves even more time. And I predict that they're gonna start rolling this out in some of the other cameras as well. Now that's, I think they're gonna do that. I'm not entirely certain, but that's, I hope. Is it any good? It's not perfect yet. There's definitely room for improvement, but if I know these two companies, they're definitely gonna get it bang on at some point. It's like the electric car. When everyone was riding around on horse and cart, everyone sniffed their noses up at cars. Oh, it'll never work, blah, blah, blah. And now look, everyone's driving a car. Now everyone's turning their noses up at electric cars, but it's coming. It's coming, it might not be perfect yet, but it's gonna happen. So there are a few areas that need some improvements. For example, you lose your minimum focus distance of the lens. So I can get super close with the autofocus on the S5 or even the S1H, but when you plug the LiDAR in, you have to be about a foot away. Can't get as close. So you can't get nice close-up shots. I'd also like to see some more autofocus options in the menu as well, just so we have a little bit more flexibility over how the autofocus works and how it interacts with the subject. And I'd also like to be able to tap on any object, not just a face, and be able to track that. I mean, I don't know if that's possible, but if we could see that in the future, that'd be amazing. And then in terms of the active track, the framing isn't always perfect. Sometimes there's too much headroom, and I noticed it seemed to work better on the 35mm lens than it did on the 20 24mm lens. I don't know why, it could have been a one-off, it's not super consistent, but it does track you really well. Now, I love this partnership already because this range of Lumix lenses are all the same size and weight, which means when you're swapping lenses out, when you're using a gimbal, you don't have to rebalance, so that saves your setup time. And that's the same with the Ronin 4D as well, because you can use these lenses on that mount. With that in mind, that's why I think they're gonna work more closely together and develop new things. And I'm telling you now, I'm looking forward to the day where we see a little DJI badge on these cameras because they've incorporated LiDAR within the camera system. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? So then we don't have to faff around putting a little thing on and using the gimbal. It'd be great if it was just directly into the camera. I don't know how that would work, but I'm sure the great minds at Lumix and DJI could come up with something like that. <sighs> I'm just sat here like testing it. I haven't got a clue how it works, but it it does. So the big question on your mind is probably, if you own an S1H, should I get the LiDAR system, system, Sean Connery, or shall I stick with the S5 Mark II? <laughs> or should I upgrade to the S5 Mark II? Well, I recommend, if anybody uses cinema lenses or manual lenses, I highly recommend the LiDAR system because it just means solo shooters can switch off and not have to think about focusing and just leave it down to the LiDAR. If you've already got a gimbal, then you only need to get the LiDAR rangefinder, so it's worth it. If you don't have a gimbal and you don't use it often, it might be worth just upgrading to S5 Mark II. Now, if you're still curious to see how well the LiDAR performs with manual lenses, then I definitely recommend watching this video next because I do some tests with it against one of the best autofocus systems in the game. Is that it?